crime. Let's go to our weekly segment of Health Digest now. So are you one of those people who go through each day thinking that your life is too hard? Well, after the following story, you might want to think again. On Health Digest tonight, our in-house doctor, Marcy Korir, talks to a lady who has lived with diabetes for 30 years, from the tender age of five. And the diabetes gets so bad, sometimes that she has fallen and broken more bones than you can imagine. Take a look. When I first talked to Catherine on phone, nothing about our conversations could have prepared me for the woman that I eventually met. We like watching your, your show on Saturdays. So there's this time you aired um, a, a topic on printing body parts. Yeah? And we got excited. This day, an early Tuesday morning, I meet Catherine as one of her two weekly dialysis sessions and at the Nairobi West Hospital. Catherine, at 35 and a mother of one, was diagnosed with diabetes type 1 at the age of 5. I had to stay in hospital for a whole year. I was in Kenyatta for a whole year. It, it became my home. Being a child, control of her sugar levels was a challenge. You're told not to eat sweets but you get, you get tempted. So at times the sugars would go very high. At the age of 11 while in class five, Catherine suffered a major incident that landed her in hospital once again. I fainted, I conversed, and mommy just took me to, to Kenyatta. So by the time we were getting to Kenyatta, we were told I had gone into hyperglycemic coma. After this, luck seemed to have been on her side as she went to school normally, even advancing to a boarding secondary school without any major incidents related to her diabetes. The school was able to store for me my medication and at least to offer special diet. Then after that, um, I finished, I went to college. Four years in college are also very good, I didn't have issues. I finished college, started working. I mean, I was just an active girl, a normal active girl. In 2008, after a difficult but successful pregnancy and delivery, Catherine noticed that she had blood vision. I realized, what? No, I can't see. My right eye, when I look at you, I would see, what do we call, I would see something inside and I, I used to tell mom, I, I think something has entered my eye. Please blow it out. It couldn't come out. Unknown to her, she had retinal detachment. After surgery to rectify this, Catherine is currently certified to have low vision disability. I was given glasses, but still I wouldn't see clearly. So things started changing. I started changing my, my walking. It was a bit slower, and uh, things I had things had to be arranged. If I arranged things in a certain way, you couldn't change. As if not enough, she had several spells of either high or low sugars in which she fell, breaking several bones in her leg and shoulder complex. Not realizing that the, the hand was dislocated, it had so many fractures, the scapula was out. While being prepped for surgery to fix her shoulder, the doctors realized that Catherine's kidneys were badly off and she couldn't be operated on at that time. She started physiotherapy and she partially healed. I can carry things, but it can't go beyond there. Yeah, it's limited movement. But Catherine would fall again, dislocating her hips. So once he told us the solution is to go for surgery and he couldn't do it, we kind of lost hope. <laughs> Despite all this, Catherine can afford to smile. When challenges come, you appreciate them and try to solve them and move on. Take a day at a time. Yes, and keep smiling. 
Her daughter from a young age was sensitized about her mother's diabetes, and now, when Catherine is visually impaired, she helps a lot. She's the one who tests my blood sugar. She's the one who does the recording for me. Catherine's desire is to go back to work again, back to the productive young woman that she was. Something I know I'll be able to, to be comfortable, to sustain my family in all that I'm going through is when someone gives me an opportunity. I'll be very happy. If someone comes out and tells me, Catherine, I'll give you a job, I'll be very happy. 30 years in counting, Catherine Dwiga will not allow herself to be put down by diabetes, even at this point when it has physically and visually impaired her. Dr. Masikorit for Health Digest, KT News.